you are going to create your natural selection cartoon in this Google Doc. You are actually going to be using drawings within this doc to create your cartoon. I'm going to use an example of giraffes and their unique tra trait is their long necks. Now you cannot use giraffes with long necks for your cartoon. Okay, what I need to do is draw cartoons for the four different parts of natural selection. Genetic variation will go right here, struggle for existence here, survival of the fittest here, and descent with modification. Underneath each of those, I need to have a caption explaining what is going on in each of those four parts to natural selection. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go into the genetic variation box. and You can see I have my cursor there. And then I'm going to go up to insert drawing. And now I have kind of a drawing board or a canvas that I could use. Up here at the top right is an image insert. And I'm going to go to search. And I'm going to type in giraffe. Now I don't want photos of giraffes, so I'm going to change it from any type to clip art. And now I have some different giraffes to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose this guy right here and say select. Now I want to show that there is variation among the population. So I'm going to have some with long necks and some with shorter necks. So I'm going to just copy by pressing control C and pasting by pressing control V and I have a second giraffe, but I want him to have a shorter neck. So I'm just gonna kinda change my giraffe a little bit, and now I have one with a shorter neck. And I'm gonna press save and close. Now it made my um, part of the table really long. I'm just gonna shrink my photo here so I have my whole table on the page again, which I now do. Okay, now I wanna show um, now I want to explain what's happening here. So in this box, I'm going to write an explanation of what we see in my drawing that explains how these giraffes, how we're seeing the genetic variation. So you're going to write a caption in this box. The next box, I want to show struggle for existence. So here for struggle for existence, I'm going to show that my giraffe has is struggling to survive. And with the longer neck, he's able to reach branches in a tree or leaves in a tree, the one with the shorter neck can't. So all I did was I copied and pasted my image. I'm going to go ahead and click on this image now and I can edit it and I can add in a tree. So I'm going to go up to the image box, go to search and type in tree and then I'm going to change it from any type to clip art. And I have a bunch of different trees that I can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it the one that it's on and say select and I have my tree. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Right now both of them could reach so it's not really the best example. I'm just going to kind of edit this a little bit and maybe flip this guy around by right clicking which is a two finger click on the clipboard and then I'm going to say rotate flip horizontally. I'm going to move him over here but I still need to make it show that he cannot reach those branches. So I'm just going to keep editing a little bit until I can get it to show what I want it to. All right, so this little guy has a harder time reaching for the trees. So I'm gonna save and close, and I have my second image, and I'm going to write my caption explaining what's going on, that they're struggling to get the food, and that the taller one can reach the food, the smaller one can't. Now in survival of the fittest, I need to show the one that has the traits that are able to allow him to survive, he's the one that stays alive. So I'm gonna click on the first image up here for struggle for existence, copy it, and then paste it below. Double click on that. And the one that's the fit, he's the one that's able to get the food and survive. This little guy, he was not able to get his food and survive. So I'm going to click on him. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to flip him vertically. And 
maybe rotate him a little bit. And I'm going to give him a little tombstone to show that he's dead. So I'm going to go to shape. I'm going to choose this shape right here. Change it to gray. I want to get rid of the border. So I'm going to make the border transparent. And then I'm going to write in here RIP. Center it. Make it a little bigger. Maybe make it a lighter gray. And I think I want it up at the top. So now I have my little tombstone to show that that shorter one died. This taller one survived. Save and close. And I'm going to explain right here why the taller one survived, what survival of the fittest means, etc. Then in my last picture, I need to show descent with modification. So I'm just copying my last picture over, opening it up. These guys do not just um, survive, they're dead, but this guy is able to reproduce and have lots of offspring over time. So I am going to show that here. And I have my picture, then I'm going to explain what descent with modification means and how it shows that in my picture. You want to make sure that it stays on one page. So if when you're writing your captions it's too many words and it makes this image go to a second page, go ahead and like shrink your pictures a little bit to make sure everything fits onto one page for your cartoon. Then you're going to submit this in Canvas.